Welcome to Halloween Mode, everyone. Before we start, just a quick warning. Chainsaw Man is rated TVMA. Eddie and Clark have never seen it. Now that doesn't mean we can't make a custom Akedo Chainsaw Man, but it does mean I have to warn everybody. Don't search Chainsaw Man, watch Chainsaw Man, or play with chainsaws if you're under 18. With that out of the way, let's jump into the video. The exact origin and authenticity of this eBay bot Chucks are unknown, but soon he'll be given a second chance to fight in the arena. He'll be 10 times more powerful, have a frightening new appearance, he'll be a whole nother person. If we can successfully salvage some of this metal, we might be able to shape it into a devastating weapon. This steel is a lot stronger and thicker than expected. Soon, that will be our enemy's problems. To make Denji's collar and tie, I'll be using a new brand of epoxy clay for the first time ever. It's called Epoxy Sculpt, and it's what I see all the professionals using. Right off the bat, I noticed that both Part A and Part B are soft. It's a nice change and I really like it. Another notable difference is that the clay isn't as sticky as the brand I used to use. That could be a good or bad thing, depending on your preference. Overall, I really like it and I can't wait to use it again on the next project. The paint scheme for Denji was pretty simple and I was able to speed through everything except the shoes. And even though the fake Lego head was painted, I went over it again with my own colors to make sure it was perfect. For the Series 2 Halloween figures, I decided to go with a metallic red enamel paint for the base, and it looks amazing. Here is our custom Akedo Denji, aka Chainsaw Man. Let me know what you guys think of him and who you think I should make next. If you want to see just how OP he is, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer because his first battle will happen in Japan. And if you don't know, when we battle in Japan, the loser stays forever. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our first of eight Halloween mode figures. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you in the next video.